Welcome. I hope you're having a lovely evening. And I just wanted to say a couple of words about Stu. You know, the thing about him was that I don't think the Rolling Stones would ever have got going if it hadn't been for him. He was a great player. He was a great piano player. He was a great guy that got us all together. Rolling Stones are only here because of Ian Stewart. Without him, this, uh, the Rolling Stones would never have existed. He hooked with Brian, and then Mick and I sort of waltzed in, uh, and, uh, and then suddenly it became the Rolling Stones. Uh, Stu got me in the band. It was Stu's idea to have me in the band, actually. But I played in other bands that he would played with, and, and he had his own band, which I played in. He was always encouraging to me throughout my um, opening days with the Stones and all the rehearsing I had to do and, and uh, all the swatting up and, and the back catalogue. A terrible road manager. He was a piano player that, that, um, that loved music and loved being with the band. So we're 15 miles out of town and we're ready to rock and roll and, uh, you know, and uh, what the hell are we doing here, Stu? And then the bum, it's the, it's the best place for you know, away from the crowd. And uh, meanwhile, you find out that it's because he got a golf course. <laughs> Mad days. We were amateurs at it, and Stu was an amateur at being a roadie. Well, my vision from behind is always Stu uh, had the lunch sticking out of his back pockets <laughs> and um, various tool, tools and equipment. Um, yeah, it's, it's wonderful to, to see the um, excess bummage that he carried around. He, he didn't like fussy music, he liked straight ahead things. If he didn't want to play something, he wouldn't play it. If he didn't like how it went, he wouldn't play it. But what he liked and what he played uh, was quite very unique and very admired by a lot of piano players. His love of the music, his choice of the guys to play with was legendary now. <laughs> you know that it is. I still feel I so much affection for the man. He always used to talk about how wonderful Scotland was, particularly East Scotland, and one time I went up to see where he was born, and it was the most beautiful place, and he was correct how beautiful it was, and I always hold that in my memory, and I hold him very dearly in my memory.